Hello, it's me, Vicky, again. So yo, Vicky, otra vez. Okay, in today's video, in el video de hoy, vamos a intentar a ampliar el inglés que podemos hablar. So, we're going to try and uh, expand uh, the English that you can speak by looking at alternative verbs, verbos alternativos. But do you find you're always using the same verbs? Yeah, uh, siempre usamos los mismos verbos. So, we're going to extend our knowledge and look at verbs uh, that mean the same thing, but we're going to look at an alternative verb that we can use to say the same thing. So we can vary our English, expand our English. So este video no es para principiantes realmente, pero para más o menos intermedio, posible. Anyway, los principiantes pueden aprender algo de cualquier video, cualquier tutorial. So no quiero decir que si eres principiante que no mires, que, pero puede ser un poquito difícil. Okay, so we're going to look at 25 alternative verbs. 25 verbos alternativos. Number one, to speak is a verb that you probably know. Yeah, to speak, hablar. I'm going to give you two other verbs that you might use instead of uh, to speak. First one is chat, chat. Uh, eso es más charlar que hablar. Yeah, so instead of to speak, you can use to chat. I chatted with my friend. Yeah, charlaba uh, o charlé con mi amigo, amiga. Another verb that means the same as hablar but more informal is natter. To natter. I nattered with my friend. Also, we can use that as a noun. We had a natter. Tuvimos un natter. <laughs> so, tuvimos una charla. So, es verbo y también nombre sustantivo so to speak can be to chat or to natter number two a verb you probably know is to drink drink beber uh, now in english we use quite often the verb to have instead of drink so for example uh, every morning I drink two coffees. Or I might say, every morning I have two coffees. In Spanish, normally you use tomar. Cada mañana tomo dos cafés. So, instead of the verb to drink, you can use the verb to have. Yeah, uh, every morning I have two coffees. Same with number three, the verb to eat, comer. You can use have also. Uh, I have a sandwich for lunch. Yeah, tomo or tengo is literal, but in Spanish you don't use tener for food and drink. You would probably say uh, com como un sandwich or tomo un sandwich. In English, we would say have, so, and we put it into the different tenses. So, yesterday, ayer, I had a sandwich. So, to use a different verb than eat, you can use to have with food or drink, okay? Uh, number four, the verb to write. We use the verb to write, it means escribir. Uh, a more informal word for to write is to scribble, 
to scribble. Uh, he so an example sentence. He gave me his number. Yeah, me dio su numero. We can use to write. I wrote it down. Lo escribi. Or we could say he gave me his number. I scribbled it down. So that's the verb to scribble that we can use instead of to write. Number five, the verb to attend. When you attend something, it's asistir. Yeah, I, I attended the meeting. Asistí a la reunión. Instead of to attend, we can use to go to or to come to. So I could say yesterday I attended the meeting. Or yesterday I went to the meeting. Or yesterday I came to the meeting. Okay. So it's good to use different verbs to extend uh, your capacity for English. And if another person uh, uses one of these verbs, it's important not to always use the same verbs. Okay, number six. If you wanted to say combine, combinar. In English, that's to combine. But we can also use mix, to mix, like mezclar. So, for example, if you were making a recipe, una receta, I combined the ingredients. Yeah, combiné los ingredientes. Or you can say, I mixed the ingredients from the verb to mix. So combine and mix, you, they mean the same thing. Another one, number seven, to complete. Completar. If we want to use a different verb, so for example, I completed my homework. Yeah, uh, completé mis deberes, for example. We can use to finish also. Como terminar. I finished my homework yeah so to combine or to finish number eight to deduct i think in spanish is uh, restar restar to take away yeah so in english we can use to de deduct or to take away and to take away, también puede ser llevar como comida, comida para llevar, take away food. But if you take anything away, it's like to deduct. Yeah, uh, I had five cats and my friend took away two cats. So I had three cats. So... Deduct is take away, the same as take away, but not take away food. <laughs> okay, number nine, to demonstrate. Demostrar. So this is a nice, easy verb, to demonstrate, porque es similar del español. But we can also use the verb to show. So demonstrate and show mean the same thing, demostrar y mostrar, más o menos. So to demonstrate, uh, I <coughs> demonstrar is un poco más, uh, demostrar, yeah, to demonstrate, and show is un poco más mostrar, pero son similares. Number 10, to discuss. Now, in English, if you discuss, it's como debatir, you know, to debate something, to talk about something, not argue, not angry. Uh, we discussed the problem, we talked about the problem, we spoke about the problem, and uh, that's what we can use, talk about. So, di to discuss, we can also use to talk about. We talked about the problem. 
Number 11, uh, the verb to permit, permitir, another easy verb really because it's similar to the Spanish, to permit, but we can also use to allow, allow. So to permit or to allow. Uh, like if you were to say, uh, do you permit dogs? Yeah, or do you allow dogs? Or, uh, yeah, anything that's permitted, it can also be permit and allow. Number 12, to establish is one way of saying establacer. Algo. So, to establish. Um, and we can also use to set up. Yeah. Uh, will you uh, set up a business? Will you establish a business? Or, or in the past tense, we established a business or we set up a business, for example. Number 13, uh, to ask. Maybe you know the verb to ask, which is preguntar, to ask a question. Uh, and we can also use inquire, to ask and inquire. So, I asked about the job, or I inquired about the job. Number 14, to expire. When something expires, and this is like uh, uh, caducar, for example, para leche or comida, when it expires, you can't use it anymore. Uh, or your carnet de conducir, your driving license, expires. And in English, we use the verb to expire, or we use to run out, to run out. This is a, a verb that means the same as caducar or expire. So, for example, you would say, when will my driving license expire? Yeah, cuando caducará mi carne de conducir. When will my driving license expire or when will it run out? Okay, number 15, to inform. Inform is informar, yeah, to give information to someone. And we can also use the verb to tell for this. Tell me about the job, yeah, tell me about the job or please inform me about the job. So inform and tell are different ways of saying the same thing. Number 16, you may know the verb to find, encontrar. We can always, uh, we can also use to locate, to locate. So to find and to locate are the same meaning. Uh, like you say, I can't find the house. Yeah, no puedo encontrar la casa. I can't find the house. Or you could say, I can't locate the house. Locate is more formal than find. Okay, number 17, to obtain, which obtener, yeah, or conseguir. So, to obtain, we can also use, in English, to get, to get. So, if you were asking someone to get something for you, can you obtain that for me? Uh, Puedes conseguirlo or obtenerlo para mí? Can you get it for me? So, get is more informal, obtain is more formal, but they have the similar meaning. Uh, number 18, you probably know the verb to put, poner, to put. 
We like this verb because in English it doesn't change for any tense. Present, past participle, pre tree, imperfect. Put, 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 never changes. Uh, but we can also use the verb to place. Put and place mean more or less the same thing. A place is mass colocar. It's como poner y colocar. Put and place. I put uh, the bed in the bedroom. Or you could say, I placed the bed in the bedroom. Place, a little bit more formal. Number 19, to possess, to possess. This is the same as to have ownership, yeah? What you possess, poseer, creo en español. So to possess is the same as to have, as in possession. And also we have another verb, which is to own. I own a car. Or you could say, I possess a car, or I have a car. All the same, same meaning, but slightly more formal, probably possess. A little bit more formal, but it's nice to use different verbs. Number 20, to preserve something. If you preserve something, this is a similar meaning to keep, guardar. Preservar. So uh, it, it, again, a bit more, a bit more uh, dramatic or a bit more formal. Um, I, I, if you were keeping something safe, yeah, guardar algo seguro, and you could say I preserve it or I keep it. Preserve is like you're really looking after it. Lo cuidas to preserve it. Yeah, you can uh, preserve people as well. And we talk a lot about self-preservation. You know, you're looking after yourself. Okay, number 21, to buy. We know that verb. Probably you know the verb to buy, which is comprar. We can also use a more formal verb, which is purchase, to purchase. So I might say, uh, yesterday I bought a coat. Yeah, ayer compré un abrigo. Yesterday I bought a coat. Or I might use the verb to purchase and say, yesterday I purchased a coat. Yeah, again, a little bit more formal. Uh, number 22. To reconsider, reconsider, and this is to think again, yeah, pensar otra vez. So, for example, maybe you make a decision, haces una decisión, but later you reconsider, mm, piensas otra vez sobre esta decisión y a lo mejor cambias tu mente. So, to reconsider is to think again. Okay, number 23, the verb to stay, quedarse, like at the moment, quedarte en casa, stay at home. We all have to stay at home uh, because of COVID. It, well, it depends when you're watching this video. Hopefully, when you're watching this video, maybe we don't have to stay at home anymore, but to stay is quedarse. But another verb we have that means the same thing in English is to remain to remain at home. So stay at home or remain at home. Number 24, to choose, elegir or escoger, creo es el otro, el otro palabra en español. So to choose, elegir, or we can use the verb to select. So, uh, I, so if you were saying, I choose my lottery numbers, yeah, elico mis números de la lotería. Or you can say, I select 
my lottery numbers but with but by birth dates for example i choose my lottery numbers by birth dates family birthdays or i select my lottery numbers through family birthdays choose select same meaning different verbs to extend your vocabulary and number 25 the last one uh, you may know the verb to change. Change is uh, cambiar, means cambiar, uh, to change. But we can also use the verb to alter. Yeah, you can alter something. Eso es igual como cambiar, to change or to alter. For example, Cambié mis fechas. I changed my dates. Or you can say, I altered my dates. Okay, there you go. That's 25 uh, alternative verbs to the so that you can use different language uh, when you're speaking English or listen, understand more when people are using different verbs uh, to you. I hope you've found it useful. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If people give a thumbs up, please. And please press subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It's free, gratis. Totalmente gratis. No hay que pagar nada para suscribir. Uh, and yes, I'll see you in the next video. May your God go with you. Thank you. Oh, I just can't do it. May your God go with you.